Okay, so today we're gonna do a little bit of a different thing again. Um, as you might have noticed, uh, or I should just say, I am a little bit into airsoft. Yeah, just as well admitting it. So what I thought I would do today is uh, just give you a little bit of an overview uh, of my first line gear that I use, uh, my tactical belt, so to speak. Well, uh, I'm not doing any particular style of faction or army or military or anything like that. Uh, I'm a little bit into... Uh, okay, I'm a gamer as well, just in my admit that and as well. It kind of goes together, being an airsofter and being a gamer and so on. And uh, some of my favorite games in recent times have been uh, uh, the Starker series of games, and uh, I read books like, you know, uh, Metro 2033 and the uh, game that is included with it and so on. So my uh, loadout, if I say so, is a little bit uh, post-apocalyptic or so on, but uh, it, I just show you what I use on my utility belt. It's all in good fun, so on. So, yeah, here we go. But I had to, I have to uh, just tell you this, that my gear is just a mishmash of everything and the kitchen sink, so I'm not trying to replicate any type of faction, so it's just just what I've put together on a budget. And this has been from years of, you know, miscellaneous collection, you know, flea markets and eBay and yada yada yada. Well, I'm gonna show you. There you go. Well, at the start, this is an old US style Vietnam era pistol belt. Um, which is really crowded with some accessories. I'm just gonna turn it over so we can see it from the correct side, so to speak. See if I can do this. There we go. This is basically the tools of the trade, so to speak, that I'm carrying on my on my uh, belt. Uh, this starts with a Vietnam era U.S. Army pistol belt, as I said earlier. Uh, on one side here, I have a classic AK style bayonet, and it's. Uh, it's sheath, love Bakelite, uh, I think it has quite a cool uh, cool coloration to it, yeah. So, uh, well, any people thinking it's uh, it's uh, atrocious that I have a Eastern Bloc uh, knife on a Western, <laughs> on a capitalist uh, pistol belt, well, what are you gonna do? I thought it was a cool combination. Don't hold it, hold it against me. I'm not here to debate ideology. This is just in good fun. And then these three pouches that are uh, coming later. It's a uh, a double pair of uh, pair of uh, drop leg uh, magazine holders, uh, a dumb pouch, and a uh, medical pouch. Uh, all of these are. Uh, 101 ink. They're a good brand. I, they are what they are and they work good. So these I keep, uh, well, AK-74 style magazines because that's my preferred rig. Dumb pouch. Nothing much to say about that. And then if you are running around in the zone, so to speak, um, I can show you a little bit what is in this medical bag. 
Well, you got to have your pocket flask and then you have this little baby which uh, if you are a gamer familiar with the games like uh, maybe Stalker or Metro and so on you might recognize this little emergency medical pack and what's cool with this one is it's fully stocked although the auto injector which you can see here which should be right here that's uh, not included but it kind of is obvious because it is a needle and it could be used for other purposes that I wouldn't really uh, be interested in but anyway it says here in Russian what all these these small vials are these these plastic vials uh, from what I could understand these are emergency civil uh, wartime medical kits they are all uh, pills so they are there are still all of them are complete with all the pills and uh, what I've seen from some internet forums and so on they are for uh, if you've been exposed to radiation if you have had any kind of if you've been exposed to gas if you have been exposed to uh, some sort of cut that have become infected there are no antibiotics in this I've checked that but they are some kind of what can we say non-steroid uh, anti-inflammatory if uh, I put it that way but it's a cool little accessory it's not for use it's only for you know like uh, it's a, a prop basically but a fairly cool one in my opinion fairly cool yeah, and uh, it lives here, if I can just muscle it into place, without making a complete fool of myself. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Jesus. Yeah, so that's basically what I have in my medical pouch thus far. But uh, I might put, I still have some places here that I can fill up with some gear. So I'm just going to zip this one back up. Such. Okay. Uh, next here I have my canteen and this is a old school uh, Swedish army style canteen. It's, uh, it's in this wool pouch. Uh, and it's uh, made of aluminium. Uh, originally this cap here had a piece of cork in it but I thought it was a bit it was a bit disgusting actually it had something growing on it and so on so I'm planning to maybe get the piece of rubber of some sort and put it in here as, instead as some kind of as a makeshift gasket. But for what it is, I've cleaned it out thoroughly with some special solutions, i.e. chlorine and some other stuff, and it, uh, it works well. Then, finally here, when all else fails, I have this uh, cheap telescopic baton, which is, you know, I know it um, might be not be completely legit to have one of these on you but it's a prop it's not for actual use it's more of a you know theater the theatrical style piece it, it adds to the you know it adds, it's a little bit of flair so all in all that's uh, That's my gear that I'm using so far at my first line and I might be back later with a review of my, my other gear. So, stay tuned.